guys welcome to the bag cupboard and if you are new hello thank you for clicking on this video i do hope that you thoroughly enjoy it and want to see more of the cupboard if you do then why not subscribe like and comment it's free so today's video is all about the coach cat saddle bag that i purchased a couple of months ago i have been using this on and off since then during lockdown and i thought i would update you on a few pros and cons if you are considering purchasing this bag so first of all i think we should start off with the pros so first pro is the price the price of this is just amazing for what you're getting. Um, a lot of the designers now are bringing out similar, if not exactly the same shapes to this. So it's obviously popular at the moment. You have the Dior Bobby bag. Um, Gucci have a very similar one. So everybody's doing it. And those are... A little bit too expensive for basically a simple shape like this is so hence why I went for this one so that's the first pro is the price the second pro is the quality that you are getting for that price this leather is so soft and buttery it really is a beautiful bag it is the first coach bag that I have ordered and kept. Um, I always said that I wanted to get a bag ever since I got my little card holder and my purse because the quality is amazing. So I would highly recommend checking out their bags for good quality and good price. So the third pro is the strap it is adjustable which is what we all need in our lives and it is removable i've used this with this strap i've taken it off i've put a different strap on and it's great and i love how interchangeable it can be and customizable so that is the three pros that i have for this bag now we will go on to the cons the first major con for me is the fastener. It's a little bit faffy to fasten this, especially when you're wearing it crossbody. It's not super magnetic on some bags. You just shut the flap and it just sucks it in and it's fastened and you're away. On this one, you certainly have to do a lot of searching around for it to clip in. So quite a lot of the time I will be walking around and you hear this, which is quite annoying. So that is really the major con to this bag. The second con, which doesn't really affect me, but it may affect somebody else's decision if they are thinking about purchasing this bag, is when I first... Um, took this bag out the box I did notice a little bit of wrinkling at the bottom now it didn't bother me I got it reduced and I really like it I love the colour I haven't got anything this colour so it doesn't bother me but it may get worse in time it's not a super structured bag it's more the bottom that's got a little bit more structure so I think in time you probably will see perhaps more wrinkles on it. Um, so if you're somebody who doesn't like that, then this may not be the bag for you. But as I say, it doesn't bother me and we all have wrinkles. So why not let our bags get wrinkles? So the last con on this bag is... The adjustable strap, which is great, the strap that holds the little flappy bit is quite loose. 
So quite often that will slide off and then you have that happening, which is quite annoying. And now there's quite a lot of people that do not like that. So you would have to be wary about that if that really, really bugs you. But apart from that, this is a pretty great bag. And if you are thinking about purchasing this or looking at it, trying it out, I would highly, highly recommend it. So I only wish that they would bring this out in some beautiful, bright colours because I would definitely order another one. So thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope that it was helpful. If you are thinking about buying this bag, I would definitely give it a thumbs up and say, yes, go for it. Hopefully I will see you in my next video from the cupboard. Bye.